We're now joined by Citrus TV's women's basketball beat reporter, Brittany Ehrlich in studio. Brittany, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Well, Syracuse women's basketball team has done very well inside the Carrier Dome. If you haven't checked out a game yet, go see Coach Q's team in action because they are outperforming Jim Beheim's squad right now, Brittany. It's been a impressive ACC and regular season for the Syracuse women's basketball team. Yeah, overall, the Syracuse team is 17-5, and five, and in ACC play, they are 5-4. and four. Syracuse continues to keep getting better and win in the Carrier Dome. They are undefeated there at 11-0. Syracuse also is shooting 41% from the field and 30% beyond the arc. And you can't shoot that well unless you have someone giving the ball to open players. And the person who's been giving that ball to open players is Tiana Mangakahia. She's really grown into one of the best point guards in the nation. Yeah, Tiana leads Syracuse in 14 categories, including points per game, steals, and assists. Now, talking about assists, she leads the nation in assists with 221 of them. She also was just named one of the top 10 finalists for the Nancy Lieberman Award, which honors the top D1 point guards in the NCAA. And Alexis Peterson was named to that list last year, so it shows you what kind of company Tiana is in in that award. But Tiana can't do it by herself. It was Miranda Drummond earlier in the year who was able to step up and score for the Orange. Who in the recent games has been able to help Tiana score for Syracuse? It's been the big two in Digna Stratmana and Amaya Finkley. They were both named ACC Rookie of the Week in back-to-back -back weeks. And Digna, she had 25 points in beast against Boston College, a career high for her. She has also averaged 20 points in the past four games. Now, Amaya, she's also averaged 11.5 .5 points in the past two games. And they both continue to get better and better, and they thank their coaches for that and playing against each other in practice. They also have been continuing to improve on blocks and steals. Well, now, like you said, this Orange team is at 5-4 and four in the ACC. Seven ACC games left. How do you see this Orange team closing out conference play? As you mentioned, there only is seven games. And out of those seven games, I only see two of them being real competition for Syracuse with Louisville, the number four team in the country, and Duke, the number 19 team in the country. They are playing Louisville at home, which with this team and Coach Q, anything can happen in that Carrier Dome. As I mentioned, they are undefeated. But those are the two of real competition. I see them making a run in the into the NCAA tournament and continue to get better and better. Yeah, that home undefeated streak includes an upset over ranked Florida State at the time, so we know anything can happen inside the confines of the Carrier Dome. Brittany, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me.